In this video, we will discuss about sum of series using for loops. There are many types of series, but we will only discuss four different types of series in this video. So let's get started. We will look at a simple sum series, which is one plus two plus three plus four plus five, so on till n. Now for this, we will import, we'll take this value of n from the user. So for that, we need to import the scanner class. Scanner is equals new scanner system dot in. So we've imported the scanner class. Oh yes, spelling mistake. Yes. Now we'll import the value of n. So in n equals let's see dot next n. Yes. Now this part is simply taking the user input. writing this so that it will be convenient after we write the code in order to read the code it will be very convenient if we comment out this way now this is the for loop before we write the for loop uh, let's create a variable called s and let's equate this to zero so whatever values will be added will be added in this variable now we'll create a for loop for int i equals one i less than or equals n i plus plus that will be s plus or equals i yes s plus or equals i then says out I'll explain the code once I write this. This is out S. Let's print. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do this, I'll we'll print some welcome message so that that will look. The code will look good. Please. Enter the value of n. This is a welcome message, and here instead of simply printing this, we write the value of some series is plus s. Please enter the value of n. So for ease, we'll take it as five. The value of some series of five is fifteen. So how did this work? Here we have just taken the user input using the scanner class. We have taken the value of n, and then we have taken a variable called s and equated this to zero. So what happened? Next, we wrote for loop for int i equals one i less than n i plus plus. So we, here we have given the value of n as five. So it is going to print all the numbers one two three four five. And what it has done? It is adding all these values to this s. So it does zero plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five. All that is stored in this variable s. Now what we have done? We have printed out the value s. So it is showing the value of some series is s. The value of s here is 15. If you add numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, you get 15. So this is how. This is a basic thing about uh, some uh, series. Some series. Now we will look at how to uh, do this sum of series 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5, so on till n. So the first thing we do is simply taking the user input. We have imported the scanner class, and now we will take the user input in n equals c dot next int. Yes. 
Now the next thing we do is we take a float value here. We take float sum equals zero because when we when we get the answer for such a series one plus one by two plus one by three when we get the answer we get them in points. So we, it is necessary to uh, take the value in float rather than taking an int. If you take it in int, you get a floor value. Now we'll write the for loop for int i equals 1, i less than or equals n, i plus plus. Now what we have to do, sum plus or equals, no, no, no I'm sorry, we shouldn't take this as int, we should take for float, because we want the answer float, so we need to take them float. Float i equals one. Sum plus or plus equals one divided by i. Why did we do one divided by i? Now the values which we are gonna print will be, for example, we have taken the value of n as five, so it will print one, two, three, four, five. So we have taken here it as one divided by i. So it will print one divided by one plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 plus so on till whatever the value of n you give here it, it is gonna print that way now let's let's print out the value of sum the value of sum is Now, it's asking please enter the value of 10, so 10. Now you could see the answer here is in points, 2.92896864. If we would have taken this as int, it would have only printed 2. So we have taken it in float. So this is how we print this particular sum series. Before we have seen the loop uh, for, before we have seen the series of sum for one plus one by two plus one by three plus one by four. But what if it is in this way one minus one by two plus one by three minus one by four so on till n. So for that starting we'll take the user input that is common for everything. And next we will create a float variable called sum and equate it to zero because the answer of this series would be in points in decimals so we are taking it as float now we will write the for loop for for float i equals 1 i less than or equals n i plus plus now if you observe this pattern here for the even numbers it is negative sign and for the odd numbers it is in positive sign so here we can write the if condition so if i then the remainder of i would be uh, when divided by 2 is 0 then then plus or equals minus i divided by minus 1 divided by i else sum plus equals i divided by 1 divided by i so if it is an if it is odd number then it is going to print positive result if it is even number then negative result. Now let's print out the value is sum. Now let's print this out. This is the value. So it has printed this value. So we'll again look at the program. First we have taken the user input, then we have created a variable called sum 
creating float variable created this float variable here and from here we are starting the for loop for float i equals 1 i less than or equals n i plus plus so we have taken the value of i as 10 so it has printed the numbers from 1 to 10 now if i value is even then it is going to print minus 1 by i if it is odd number then it is going to print 1 by i so what it has done is it has segregated everything if the value of it will uh, pass through this condition and if it is div if the remainder is 0 then it is going to print minus 1 by i and if the remainder is not 0 then it is going to print 1 by i and everything would be added and stored in this variable sum and then we are printing out this variable sum so that is how write this sort of series now we will see how to solve this series 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus so on till x to the power n so here we need to take two user inputs one is the user input for n and one is the user input for x so int x equals sc dot next int so we have taken the user input for n and we have taken the user input for x. Please enter the value for x. We have taken the value uh, user input for n and we have taken the user input for l, x. Now we need to create uh, some variable and equate that to 0. Now we will write the for loop for int i equals 1 i less than equals n i plus plus. Now here we will see a new thing which is math class. Now we need to find we are actually let me write first and I will tell you equals math dot x to the power i minus i minus 1 we need to print some out first please enter the value of n. So 5 and the value of x I will take it as 3 it has printed 121 so how this works is we have taken the user inputs for n and x after that we have created a variable called sum and equated that to 0 now we have written for int i equals 1 i less than n and i plus plus now what we have done here is sum we are adding everything in and storing them inside the variable called sum sum equals math dot power so in order to write the power of uh, a, a number and in order to write a number and its power we use this math dot math dot pow and x is here the base and this is the power so x to the power i minus 1 why did i take this as i minus 1 i could have taken this as i so we'll see here if you look at this one here we can write 1 as x to the power 0 we can write this as x to the power 0 plus x to the power 1 plus x to the power 2 plus so on so 1 we can write it as x to the power so this is the first term this is second term this is uh, this is third term and this is the fourth term so for the first term the value of n is 0 for the second term the value of n is 1 for the third term the value of n is 2 so for the number of term the value of n is uh, minus 1 of that so i have taken i minus 1 here as the power and then we are adding everything to the uh, to this variable sum and we are storing in this variable sum 
and then we are printing out the variable sum here so that is how we got this value 121 the value of n is 5 and the value of x is 3 so we got 121 might have got a basic idea about the sum of series so if you have any suggestions or queries regarding this video please do ping me on my instagram handle or comment in the comment section below thank you everyone for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next one